In this video, we're going to focus on how we can remove the tick marks and control the padding so we can nicely narrow our scale here and same here on the on the y axis and on the x axis here. So let's start to look how we can control this. So let's start to look how to add or remove the tick marks from the scales in Chart.js. So the first thing we need is the boiler template, which you can find on chartjs3.com getting started, this specific link here, which you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, scroll down and just copy this entire chunk of code. If you want to understand what this code does, watch this video here that explains it all. I want to paste this all in there and then I'll cut out this. And then what I will do is I will just paste this all in here, the title, and I will maximize the size of the chart, say 80%. Refresh, there we are. So now we have a nice bar chart. And what we want to do is we want to remove these tick marks, but what we can do as well, there's still some more ways to play around with that. So let me show you exactly what we're going to do. First of all, here we say comma, and we're going to say here ticks. And then here, what we can do is if we want to add the length of it, we can say here, um, uh, what is that? A tick length. And this tick length could be, for example, 20 pixels. If I save that, refresh. Uh, you can see here. Oh, sorry. That's not ticks. It's grid. Save, refresh, and as you can see here, we get this length here. So what we could do, because you can see here, there's still some space between the tick mark and the label itself. We we can still adjust that. So we're going to say a comma. We can say, for example, here in the ticks, we're going to say here padding. And by default, it is padding of three pixels. If you put it on zero, you will see now it will be completely attached to the tick mark. So what we could do as well is we could say here completely removing the length of the tick mark. There we are. And now we have like this. But what you could do as well then in this case, you can just say here, draw ticks equals false, which is basically the same as well as above. Save this, refresh, there you are. So we could do exactly the same here for the X scale. We're gonna say X and then we'll put a comma here. And then I will just grab here this tick or grid. And we're going to say here false. If I save that, you will see here already the ticks are gone or the tick marks. And now we have still some padding. We can control this padding as well by saying ticks equals padding or pinpointing that part. And we can just do maybe here, let's say 25 for the fun. And there we are. So, but you can see here the padding will be on top, bottom, left and right triggered. So if I say here, zero it will be probably very narrow there we are and this is basically how you can control the tick marks but also adjust the scale in a way to your liking so if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to know for example how you can control the, the step size of the scale in that case i'm going to recommend you this specific video here on how to control the tick steps on a y scale in charges but of course this could be also applied on a x scale